guys, so today I'm going to be doing a birthday haul part 2. Um, so I got given like a decent amount of birthday money. I did a birthday haul with the things that I got and bought. And I will link that birthday haul in the description for you guys. But I had birthday money left over. So I went out and bought a few more things. And... I thought I would share it with you guys because why not? I wanted to and it kind of goes with the first birthday haul that I did. Birthday was just over a week ago. Obviously since then I went out and shopped. A few like two days after my birthday I went out and shopped and then I went out and shopped today. And I'm gonna start off with this bag. Um it's Primark, Primark stuff. Um I got a few bits and bobs from Primark. So the first thing from Primark that I'm gonna show you guys is this lovely little rucksack. Quite a neutral kind of colour. It's sort of like beige with like a pink kind of tone to it, like a pinky beige. It looks more like of a whitey kind of beige on camera. And it's got like really nice gold zips and a nice little pocket. And inside at the back it's got like a back kind of pocket and it's like a zip pocket at the back and then it's got two little pockets here if you can kind of tell the straps are just like black material it's like that smooth kind of material and as you can tell by the price tag this is £10 but worth it I reckon it's cute and I like bags and I like rucksacks also from Primark, I got this cute little makeup bag thing. Um, it's like black and white, as you can tell. And the front is sort of like, sort of looks a bit like an illusion. <laughs> I don't know how well you guys can tell, but like, it, in real life it does sort of look a bit like an illusion, which is kind of weird and it's a bit of a mind fuck. But yeah, it's cool and I like it. It's like a checkered kind of illusion pattern. <laughs> That was £3. Then I just got a teasing comb because I've never had a teasing comb before and I wanted to try one out because at the top of my head my hair is kind of like thin like around this sort of area so I thought you know to make my hair look a bit more voluminous and fabulous then I can have one of these and I've always like sort of been interested to get one and it's got like a little pointy tail. That was a pound. Then the last thing that I got from Primark was this perfume for six pounds. It's called Scandal. And I tried like the little tester and it actually smelled really nice. I really liked it. So I've just taken the plastic off of it and that's what the box looks like. And I quite like the box. So I'll probably keep the box to be honest. This is what the bottle looks like. And I actually love this bottle. It's like so amazing. It's like black and purple kind of ombre sort of thing and it's like spiky. Like it doesn't, it's not like painful kind of spiky, if that makes sense. It's just sort of like flat spikes, if that makes, if that makes any sense at all. But I love this packaging. It's like so cute. I love it. And it just smells like really good. Absolutely love it. I can't even describe it. Like I'm so crap at describing things anyway. So I also went to Wilco's and picked up a few little beauty bits. So first of all I got these like headband things for 95p. They're sort of shiny material but I thought they were quite nice anyway and they'd be good for when I'm doing my makeup because when I do like foundation or like if I'm doing like concealer on my head or down the side of my face and I have to like hold my hair back and put it on. Or when I'm doing like powder, I have to like hold my hair back. So I thought these would be very helpful and it will help me not get it in my hair and I won't have to hold my hair back. So yeah. So I picked up a few like skincare bits. These are all by Skin Therapy and these were legit all 95p, which I know sounds cheap, but they seem nice and good and I wanted to try them out. So first is the Skin Therapy Sensitive Skin Eye Makeup Remover. Then the Skin Therapy Sensitive Skin Cleanser. Then the Skin Therapy Sensitive Skin 
light hydrating moisturizer and then lastly the skin therapy sensitive skin toner and then i also went to poundland and i picked up three different nail polishes because i've got some nail polishes um, but i wanted to get some new ones and add to my collection um, so first is just the makeup gallery quick dry nail color then i got a like pale blue kind of color um, this is also makeup gallery it's in bambino blue and then i got a dark purple kind of color also by makeup gallery in this is in deep amethyst 28 so i also went to tesco's and got a couple beauty bits i got a l'oreal paris gentle eye makeup remover gently and effectively removes eye makeup and this is suitable for sensitive eyes because sometimes i get like really sensitive under here so i thought this would be good for when i am sensitive under here that was three pounds then i got two eyebrow pencils i used to use these all the time but over the last couple weeks i've been using a palette um but i thought i'd get two of these just in case i want to use a pencil again um, so the rimmel london professional eyebrow pencil in 001 dark brown and i've had this in 002 hazel before as well and these are usually three pound each but when i got them they were two they were two for five pound also the last thing i got from this is it um is this vinyl record player i've got it in the background just over there because my dad had like vinyl records and i was never able to play them and when I saw this in This Is It, I thought I really want to get it because I wanted to get a record player for ages. And this was on sale as well. I got it for $39.99 and I love it. And I've been playing my dad's records on it. So that was all the things I got last week and I'm going to show you guys the things I got today. So I went to Poundland and got not a lot, just two things. So I got this Makeup Gallery Good To Glow highlighting powder and I thought it looked like really pretty. So this is what it looks like. It's not very good on camera but it's just sort of like a subtle glow. I thought it was really pretty and I wanted to try it it's in one pearl shimmer and the second thing i got from poundland was this rimmel london cape eyeliner i've had one of these before in black and it actually was quite good this is just a 24 hour gel eyeliner and this one is in 005 emerald which i thought was quite snazzy and i thought i would try it because i like trying new things and i thought why not <laughs> and the next few things i got are from wilkinson's and yeah these these are the last things that i got so when i was at the bus stop i kind of took everything out of its packaging and put it most of it into here and this first item is just a black pink and clear um patterned makeup bag which says i wake up like this and i thought it was pretty cool and pretty snazzy and i like snazzy things and this is my kind of thing so yeah this was three pounds so one of the other things i got was just a hairbrush because i have another hairbrush but it's got like dry shampoo in it so my mum had this idea to have like a clean hairbrush and a dirty hairbrush so the days that my hair is dirty i will use my other hairbrush and the days my hair is clean i will use this hairbrush this was one pound so then i got this spot cream roll-on thing because I have been quite spotty recently and um, this is by Simple this was originally £5.50 but it got reduced to £2.75 which is quite good next I got a skin therapy tea tree moisturising lotion for 95p then I got a skin therapy tea tree overnight calming blemish serum this was also 95p then I just got a pack of like hair clips and like I said I took everything out of the packaging and um, these are just like plastic black matte clips so like i can clip my hair up when i'm doing my makeup they were 95p then i got this pintail comb 
which is like black and white in a snazzy kind of pattern and this was 50p just you know to help me style my hair <laughs> and then I got this teaser comb um, which is also 50p and it's quite snazzy and yeah also because I want to try something different with my hair then the last thing I got was this A4 notepad um, this was £2.50. I just love notepads and like journals and like doodling and writing things down and being, crea being creative so I wanted to get this to add to my little notepad collection. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys soon for another video. Bye!